He was just a rookie trooper and he surely shook with pride. He checked all his equipment and made sure his pack was tied. He had to sit and listen to those awful engines roar. You ain't gonna jump no more. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee Jim. It's December or December. Well, it would be only it's November. It's November 10th. And of course, tomorrow is uh, Remembrance Day. So this week, every year, I start thinking about veterans and what they mean to me and have meant to me over the years. And my, my father was a veteran of the Second World War. He went over in, uh, to Germany, volunteer forces those years, and he enlisted in Edmonton, come down from Rose Prairie in northern BC, enlisted in Edmonton, sent overseas. Uh, met my mother in England, and so my mother was a war bride. And then she come back in uh, 43, I think, somewhere around there. And then he didn't come back till 45 because uh, we had occupation in Germany in those years and dad stayed for to start an occupation. And then he come back to Fort St. John. And uh, so often, you know, I, I don't realize a great uh, sacrifice these guys made. You know, it's incredible after watching all the stuff in Afghanistan here and and how people seem to just disregard what all these soldiers have been doing for us over the years. And my father died in 1959, and I was just turned seven, I guess, I was just over seven. And uh, so my memories of him were of this guy that had just come back from a war and the sacrifices they made and, and so I missed all that intervening years with him. And who knows whether he had PTSD or whatever, it is, but he drank himself to death and uh, left us four kids at that time. And over the years, many veterans have helped me. In fact, the veterans that my father was associated with when he died, they were all mechanics across the road at... Uh, at uh, Mitchell Motors, and they raised me. They they were good to me. They took over my care. It's it's crazy how they used to do that stuff. And I didn't, of course, I didn't realize it at the time as a little kid. But every day after school, I'd go to the garage, and they'd send me to get stuff. And they and they were always there for me. They had their own families, but I think because of their respect for my father, uh, they had a lot of respect for me. And I wish at the time I would realize what all that meant. Where here we are, you know, 60 years later, and I'm still thinking about it and trying to put it all together. But I just want all of you to think about who you knew that went overseas, who you knew that give their life in the end for their country. And would I do the same? Well, I can say I would. I'm 70s and they're not likely to call me. However, I think these, these young guys, if you can, if your children could hear stories from you about your grandfather, your father, your neighbor, whoever it was that served the country for us, I think it'd go a long ways to give them some idea of what the sacrifice is. And I just want to say a big shout out to all the vets out there. Whatever war, whatever campaign, you know, it's, it's crazy how people don't appreciate our service people. I always appreciate them. Uh, they're sacrificing whether we think so or not. And you might think they're just going there to get out of some other deal. But the truth is that 
it's a mindset. And it's one I never had. Uh, at different times I thought I wanted to join, but I, I never did. And I'm just proud to say that I'm a son of a veteran of the Second World War. God bless. Take care. Zoom, 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 zoom. Is everybody happy? cried the sergeant looking up. Our hero feebly answered yes, and then they stood him up. He jumped into the icy blast, his static line and hook, and he ain't gonna jump no more. Go.